In this week's video, we're installing 400 watts of Renogy Solar. This is the premium kit. You should never, ever, 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 ever say something's going to be easy in a van build, but this, in fact, was actually pretty self-explanatory. Hey guys, we are Zach and Fal. We've lived on the road now for nine months and our solar panels have worked great. In last week's video, we completed measuring out and framing our van. Make sure to check that out here if you're interested. Now, let's get into this week's video, solar. The Renogy Premium Kit comes with an inline fuse that goes in between your solar panels and your charge controller, just in case extra power comes through there. It protects your wire and it protects both your solar panels and your charge controller. And it comes with an additional fuse that goes in between your charge controller and your batteries. So it protects the wire for your charge controller and your batteries, as well as the appliances themselves. Lastly, it comes with it comes with a Bluetooth thing. Premium kit is really only about a hundred bucks more. If you're buying 400 watts of solar, you might as well just get the premium kit. The only thing it doesn't come with is cable entry housing, which we had to. We actually we bought. Yeah, we bought it on Renogy. It's, it's like 50. Yeah, basically it just helps to um, make sure that the spot where your wires come through the roof is nice and safe. The starter kit does not have the Bluetooth thing that allows you to look at where your, your solar is via your phone. It does not have the inline fuse, this guy. But the big difference is the MPPT charge controller. Oh, and you also have a nice little temperature gauge, which is cool. This goes into your charge controller, and then you put it on the negative terminal of your battery, and it tells you the temperature up in that baby, like mm. a meat thermometer. We're gonna head up there with our picture. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna lay them down, see how they actually fit instead of just on drawings. So here we are on top of our van, and we are finally putting in our Z brackets. Renogy provides all these different holes, so hopefully you can find an area in which this sits flush with the top of your van. This is our Z bracket. So we have our bolt that goes underneath that with a washer. Get our other big washer, throw it down. Oh, don't do that. Throw it down there. Grab our lock washer. That's this little guy. I always thought these were garbage. And then our nut. We're gonna go bolt washer on the bottom. Then we go washer, lock washer, nut. Here is our backside of our solar panel. We've got these Z clamps on. These are our wires that are connected. And on the actual clamps where they're gonna touch the van, we put down this VHB tape, which is that commercial grade super sticky tape here. We are putting it down, but we're also gonna drill through it with the self-tapping screws. Just an extra measure of protection. Additionally, we are gonna put down two layers of butyl tape. This stuff has really been fantastic. It doesn't really dry out either. It's good stuff. We are going in with our first panel. Are you ready for a little electricity lesson? With the premium kit, you get the MPPT charge controller, which is 10 to 15% more efficient than the PWM. It's also a little bit better about charging on overcast days, and it's a little bit better in cold weather. They are just a little more expensive. With an MPPT charge controller, you do have to wire your solar panels in series. And in a series connection, you're just going to the positive end of one to the negative end of another, and so on, positive to negative, positive to negative. At the two end solar panels, you'll have one negative and one positive, and then you'll connect those to your wires, which will go down to your charge controller. We have to make sure that it's one positive and one negative. If it's two positives or two negatives, you've messed up. With series solar panels, we do get a sum of the voltage of each panel. You'll see that your panels are rated in watts. All right, last few screws of putting the solar panels on. Hell yeah, look at it. Look at yeah, this. this. Check like this out. Awesome. It really was not as hard as we thought it was gonna be either. We're getting ready to finish our solar. Got the panels up last night. We're about to go put in some wires and make a hole in our roof and get some lap sealing. It's gonna be great. We are about to put in the big old wires and our inline fuse. This is the part, this big old piece, is the part that plugs into the solar panels, but this part, is eventually going to go into the charge controller so you could just pull off this insulation. However, once this wire is connected into those wires up there, they are liable to have a little bit of trickle charge come through and you don't want 
a live wire plus some trickle charge coming at you in your face, or hands, or really anywhere. Put on a little bit of electrical tape. Onward and upward. Check out those cat socks. Yeah, these are my Kit Kat socks. How nice this looks. Oh, look at that looks so good up here. Is our one solar panel that has the three positive. This. Oh yeah, that's definitely nice. And this is our one solar panel that has the free negative. We did put together the negative terminal of this side and the positive terminal of this side. It's also the same, so if this was the positive terminal, the negative terminal here goes to the positive terminal here. The negative terminal here goes to the positive terminal here. And then we have a negative terminal. Always be careful on your roof. And so now we have this inline fuse. It's a 10 amp, 1000 volt inline fuse. Side note. Val, today of last week, she took the MCAT. Second. I've been doing, I've been doing a lot of the measurements and sawing and manual labor, but the, the noggin skills for all the electrical stuff has been a lot of Fallon. So here's our inline fuse. This connects to the positive terminal, the positive terminal over here. And it also has some red on it. So that should help you also. So what we're gonna do now is run our free wires and find a spot to put it because our electrical house is gonna be on this side of the van. Our free negative comes off here, but the cord we're plugging into it is actually the positive because the positive connects to the negative. This is like, this is the only way that this could connect. Yeah, these ends are gonna go in the charge controller. So this is gonna be the house for our solar wires to go through. But we also have our WeBoost signal booster. So we're gonna run this through that hole as well. That cord's gonna come through here with the solar. If you have a cell booster or anything else that you could utilize that space for, the less holes, the better. In the van of saving you guys time, five sixteenths coming up. Moment of truth. Boom. And so this is where we want our cable entry housing to be. This is going to be the hole here. We have our wires pulled through our cable housing, except for this one WeBoost wire. We double and triple check to make sure that our bag was in the right place to catch all the wire shape. Then we took the little hole saw um, and we just marked around it so that we can tape up there and make sure that everything is nice and set. Now Fowl's putting on the rubber grommet. Put on an ample amount of silicone. Tack free in 30 minutes. So Fowl's gonna sit there. Can I have a new tape, please? And then we will put the wires in after all the grommets are in. Siliconing the screws to make sure that they don't leak through our ceiling because that's never good. Bottom of the housing right there. That's just that really super sticky tape. After four layers of butyl tape in the valley, and just the 3M VHB tape. Val is giving it everything she's got. Which is, well, not everything, not everything. <laughs> yeah, because this does have a weight capacity of 350 pounds, so be careful. I'm not 350 pounds. Val has been doing a good job over here, oh. prepping for the wall to go in. These are all of our wires. Check it. Little wood donut. Self-tapping wood to metal screws we're using to screw in half inch plywood into the metal of the van. It's a pretty big moment. <laughs> about to be putting in our charge controller. Yeah, our MPPT about to go down. We had to move some wires over, but we're gonna mount it here. That way it has ample space and we can have ample space elsewhere. Right here, this is for our solar, so it's gonna come down into this and then basically feed into here to charge our batteries. What we have hooked up here is this is our, our bus bar. Basically, this is our brain. Fallon is finishing up. Solar! That's gonna be port three over here yep. that she's working on right now. And we'll give further explanation of, you know, what fuse sizes we have in there and, you know, how we've rated that. All right, guys, so this is the system completely done. Don't get overwhelmed by this. We're gonna link our diagram for our entire electrical system, but the, for the purposes of finishing the solar portion, let's just focus all of our energy here, which is our MPPT charge controller. Basically what this is doing is taking all of the power that's being produced uh, through the solar, harnessing it, passing it through to our bus bar, which then charges our batteries. Plug in the miscellaneous cables that come with it, and here are the markings. For the four, we have our positive that comes from the solar, negative that comes from the solar, 
positive that goes to the battery, and negative that goes to the battery. And then on the bottom over here, this little guy is our Bluetooth module. For wire sizing and more details on the diagram, check out the blog link below. And for more explanation on everything electrical that you see here, wire sizing, etc., be sure to subscribe for when we post that video. Hey you guys, we really hope this video helped you install your solar. And again, if you have any questions at all, you can contact us directly at our Instagram or comment below and we are more than happy to help answer any of your questions. See you on the next video. Happy trails.